Welcome to the Joy of Music Television Network. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you Christmas in the Holy Land, featuring Diane Bish, the First Lady of the Organ, with special guests Sung Suk Lee, Rana Park, and the Diane Bish Chorale. And now, Miss Diane Bish. The Holy Land is the place of Christ's birth. We sit here at the Church of the Nativity in the village of Bethlehem, where Christ was born. The Bible records the story, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Bethlehem, the village where Christ was born. We are now standing inside of the Church of the Nativity, where people from all over the world come to see the place where Jesus was laid in a manger, where Jesus was born to come to this world to bring us life and hope and eternal life. The Church of the Nativity is divided into three sections, the Greek Orthodox, the Armenian, and the Roman Catholic. We are now standing inside of the Roman Catholic Church, and here we have met people from around the world coming to worship the newborn king. From the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, we join with the Arminians in the celebration of the birth of Christ and the worship of the newborn King. We stand now in the Greek Orthodox section of the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. This section of the church is that which stands right over the birthplace of Jesus. It is beneath the great altar.
came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great King. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that he may tell it to the generation to follow. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide unto death. Oh, 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 oh,
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. In the Holy Land, where Jesus was born and lived, sheep were always an important part of life. Therefore, Jesus spoke many times of the sheep and the shepherd. In John, we read this. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so, I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep.
verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. A stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of a stranger. Jesus spoke many times of sheep and shepherds, for they were a very important part of his life here in the Holy Land. We are called to follow him as sheep follow a shepherd. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Thank you for joining us today on the joy of music as we have visited the Holy Land. We have walked in the steps of Jesus. We have visited the places where he walked and talked with the people. He healed the lame. He gave sight to the blind. Everywhere he went, he brought hope and joy to those who would trust in him. What does that mean for us today? It means that if we turn to Christ and put our trust in Him, we too can know healing within and without. Jesus promises us that if we trust in Him and if we commit our lives to Him, He will give us life and life more abundant. Thank you so much for joining us today in the Holy Land. And we look forward to seeing you again on the program next week. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. We have brought you this Christmas special, Christmas in the Holy Land, featuring Diane Bish, with special guests Sung Suk Lee, Rana Park, and the Diane Bish Chorale. From all of us on The Joy of Music, we wish you a Merry Christmas and God's blessing for the new year.